So uh, again, if you kind of tell us exactly you know, what happened here. And then that sort of right, good morning. Uh, North Tryon Division officers uh, received an assault with a deadly weapon call this morning at around 9.15 a.m. Uh, upon arrival, uh, the officers, of course, um, were, were led into an apartment where uh, they ultimately discovered uh, two uh, young people were deceased. Um, of course, right now we're not releasing any names or information regarding uh, due to next of kin notifications. And we're also very early, it's a very preliminary stage in the investigation, so I wish at this time I could release more, but we just don't have anything right now. It's going to take a while for us to kind of piece together what actually happened here this morning. I will say that, um, you know, CMPD certainly respects, um, you know, the struggles people have, especially here during the holidays and families that are affected by this uh, senseless violent crime. It's heartbreaking um, to have to go through the holidays with the loss of loved ones. And, you know, I'm standing here today where we had another homicide earlier this morning down in the Steel Creek Division. So we're, we're keenly aware of the violence and how it affects the citizens and the community of Charlotte. So certainly um, sad news on the holidays. We want you know people to understand at, at this time, um, you know, we're going to do our best to solve this, and certainly um, we want everyone to have a safe holiday. Uh, if you see anything that's suspicious, please call 911, and certainly look after and care for one another during the holidays. So a couple things to follow up on there. When you say young people, do you mean juveniles? At this point, we do believe that they both deceased might be juveniles. We just haven't confirmed the ages of both yet, so yes. I believe also um, we haven't confirmed the, uh, the age this morning as well, but we have seen like you said, this year I know Chief Jennings has spoke about you know seeing this this increase in violent crime uh, regarding our juveniles here. Um, certainly, this is an opportunity maybe for parents and loved ones to speak to our young men and women that are growing, that are trying to develop, and let them know that you know committing acts of violence against other people is doesn't solve anything. Um, you know, it hurts our community, it hurts your private life, it hurts your friends and family. Um, if there's a way, if you have an issue and you'd like to, to bring it forward to a loved one, a relative, to a pastor, uh, someone that you trust, uh, please do, uh, instead, of, instead of resorting to violence and as a way to solve a problem. It, it's never going to be anything that works out great. Deputy Chief, can you speak to whether the two deceased, are, are we talking the suspect or shooter is one of those deceased or is someone out in the community? Frankly, we, we don't know. We don't believe at this time that there's any further need for concern right now. If we did have that kind of information, we would put it out, but we don't. We really just don't know. We're very early in the uh, in the investigation and we, I don't want to put out anything that's, that's speculative and certainly would lead to any type of misrepresentation. So right now, that's all we're going to release. Okay.